think you can see here we have a concrete post and we have the metal here this one for production of uh, dragon fruit yeah. yes yeah. so normally mm -hmm. uh, dragon fruit in a require support mm -hmm. so for the support mm -hmm. the best you can use is the concrete post mm -hmm. which is more durable mm -hmm. comparing to the easy zambao this is in other this is in so per post tunapanda mimea nne uh, na at least always make sure when you're investing in dragon you to make concrete concrete uh, uh -huh. to avoid uh, cost zingine kukuja baadaye uh -huh. maybe mme mianguka jua kutumia zambao yes so for this inakuwa na na support holes uh -huh. hizi ni za support a tire there's a tire that normally comes on top uh -huh. ili mme ikifika juu uh -huh. when you cut the tip uh -huh. ina toa suckers so these uh -huh. suckers ndio zinalalia the the tire, the tire. And normally to not make a picky picky to okay yeah. now ni how long in a take for dragon fruit maybe to harvest uh, you only from one year one year yeah. i'll have to say ile period you attend you say maybe you cut down mm -hmm. the dragon fruit uh, that is a period of around 10 15 years 10 to 15 say. years uh, <laughs> so this one is incomplete yeah but let's see the complete one now this one is the complete baka iko na tire the way Charles amekuwa ki explain and you, as you can see also kuna that metal in in a hold so that the plant will not fall so the reason why you use the concrete is because it is it is strong enough to hold the plant uh -huh. yeah alafu with the plant it's itself durable. it cannot grow that height Ama yeah so uh, it's a climber mm -hmm. so that's why unaona iko na mizizi yes hizi mizizi ni za ku provide support uh -huh. na hold on to the to the post okay uh, and as you can see also this this one kuna roots here so this one in a hold up hivi eh ni ni ya provide support kwa mm -hmm. uh, but it also have stones don't forget <laughs> it's one way of uh, repelling maybe uh, mm -hmm. animals unajua kila kitu hicho na na way of kujichunga sasa let's continue According to philosophers they say that agriculture was introduced between 7000 to 10000 years ago that one was during the neolithic era with some of them in, of course saying that it was introduced in Egypt others saying that it was in Mesopotamia we are still in China's area whereby we were getting in contact with Mr Charles and we are in Charles farms whereby we've been sharing different experience on different varieties of crops that is being grown here my name is Edwin Wanyama and this is agriculture show Charles yes how are you i'm fine thank you <laughs> thank you very much for having us for the you third time yeah. so by the way today we said that we will be talking about the sweet potatoes the sweet potatoes yes yeah. and uh, maybe you will tell us the process and you'll okay. show us around as usual uh, so um, there's no much to say here mm -hmm. because uh, This is the first uh, trial mm -hmm. of uh, our no sorry the sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, for the sweet potatoes normally kwa market yeah. they are very marketable. Yes. Zinaenda sana. Hawezi mm -hmm. compare na na matunda ati kikaitaribika. Yes. So for the sweet potatoes we saw there is a kuna ka gap. Mm -hmm. Not only in the market pier, mm -hmm. we also trying to intercrop and uh, ku fill these spaces. Mm -hmm. Minimization of space. Mm -hmm. uh, ata kama utapata pesa kidogo bado ni sawa yes. because you, the sweet potatoes as it has irrigation mm -hmm. just fine ziko tu hivyo eh mvua tu mm -hmm. sawa na na what is their period of growing uh, they take six months six months yeah six to seven months mm -hmm. you can harvest and maybe the process of plant preparation and well, maybe uh, planting yeah they need uh, raised soil mm -hmm. Uh, and you, you know they are tubers mm -hmm. so uh, the the sweet the sweet potatoes mm -hmm. zina zina skumaga mchanga zina zalia uko chini yes so zina itaji raised soil mm -hmm. and uh, what we normally use mm -hmm. uh, while planting mm -hmm. ni, ni hizi tu suckers 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 yes. zake tu mm -hmm. now for this one kama hii hii unakuja tu unadunga kwa mchanga after umeraise mm -hmm. unaidunga tu yes 
So ikipata mvua mm-hmm. in a short uh, period of time you mm-hmm. can say within one month mm-hmm. utapata imeanza ku, ku, kutembea yes. sema ni kutembea yeah. tu. So ikiendelea kutembea mm-hmm. after two months mm-hmm. uh, or three months mm-hmm. uta notice iko na some flowers mm-hmm. So when you see some flowers mm-hmm inahitaji ku, kurudishwa mm-hmm. and then you cover this hizi zinatembea e, mm-hmm. unaweza notice bed yetu hakuna zile zime spread yes huwa tunazirudisha then uh-huh. tunazifunika na mchanga okay. still uh, to encourage uh, zitoe mizizi ziweke the sweet potatoes kwa wingi yeah. uh, na sasa this one does not require mulching ah uh, no <laughs> itself yenyewe ina ina <laughs> maji, maji. Yeah. and I, as i can see also kwa shamba uko na Stone melon. Yeah. So by the way, maybe you can tell us the a little bit story about the thorn melon, melon and how you started farming mm-hmm. and how maybe you planted. So for the thorn melon, mm-hmm. we were mostly planting it as a kama cover crop. Mm-hmm. Because who in a spread? It is spread. Mm. Uh, in a, in a avoid the uh, evaporation pia. Mm-hmm. But then also the fruits we normally sell the fruits. Yes. Tumekuwa tume harvest mingi. Mm-hmm. And uh, they are still marketable. Yes. Very marketable. And what is the process of now planting it? Well, uh, it doesn't require a big hole. Inataka mm-hmm. like uh, one one foot by one. Mm-hmm. And manure. Manure. Manure three spades of manure is enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how long does it take maybe for it to mature? and be uh, ready for, for harvest um i can say four months four months yeah Three so which four means months <laughs> grows very fast uh-huh. actually yeah so is there a specific season of the year that motivates it to grow very fast um you can plant it any any time in between the year mm-hmm. but if you don't want to use uh, the irrigation system mm-hmm. that is your water yes. you can plant it kukikaribia tu kunyesha mm. unaipanda unaipanda yenyewe ina survive uh-huh. under harsh conditions it survives wow uh-huh. i can see also it provides for its own mulching yeah you can see it can cover itself yes very nice so maybe we see the pumpkins yes and then we continue Normally mm-hmm. we plant pumpkins, Malengi, pumpkins. in yeah. between shamba katikati yeah. like hii shamba yote mm-hmm. huwa tunajaribu ku intercrop tunaweka tunaweka malenge mm-hmm. uh, one reason ya kuweka malenge mm-hmm. the purpose ina provide uh, mulching yes. it's an anti weed in by the way mm-hmm. ukipanda malenge mm-hmm. hakunaga weeds okay inazuia weeds mm-hmm. so that's one way of weeding mm-hmm. pia ina provide mulching mm-hmm. kwa shamba yeah so ume, ume avoid evaporation mm-hmm. also uh, the fruits the, no the, the malenge mm-hmm. pia malenge is one of the nini we need yes from the plant and right now i cannot see even a single pu- pumpkin well we harvested uh-huh. uh, the pumpkins yes and uh, the harvest was quite good was quite good uh, yeah pleasant pleasant <laughs> <laughs> yeah so by the way how long does it take for it to grow and mature and maybe produce so the pumpkin? for pumpkins mm-hmm. after planting mm-hmm. you normally plant the seed yes there's no need of uh, taking the seed to the to the seed bed mm-hmm. you, you just plant direct mm. and you give it a period of 3 uh, to 4 months mm-hmm. you start seeing the flowers yes after okay after imefikisha 4 months mm-hmm. another like 5 months mm-hmm. Sasa ndio ma- uh, the malenge form. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And maybe I can see there is I can say that in that one there is like a flower there. So uh, for this flower mm-hmm. um, this is just a male flower. Mm-hmm. Normally malenge ina so How mm-hmm. do you differentiate between male and female? Well uh, kuna kuna ile maua ya malenge mm. yenye ita produce malenge. Yes. But normally hizi maua huwa kwa wingi sana. Mm. So they are just for preparation of uh, the incoming mm-hmm. uh, production. Okay. Uh, zinatoaga hizi kwanza. Mm-hmm. Then hizi zikisha drop off. Mm-hmm. Now you'll notice now the flowers zingine zina zinakuwa a bit broaden. Mm-hmm. Hizo sasa ndio zinakuwa na malenge. Okay. Uh, and that's all about the 
the pumpkin. The pumpkin. Do you use fertilizer in planting? Ah uh, no. There's just no fertilizer. Manure. Just just manure. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. As we continue with the agriculture show, now we want to talk about the arrow roots. And as you can see, hajapanda kwa mtoni or in a swampy place, but in a place that is dry. Charles, mm -hmm. can you please explain to us what is not happening here? <laughs> <laughs> because kuna ile assumption uh, kuwa arrow roots zina fast zipando tu in a, ma, in a swampy in area. A swampy area. Uh, yes. So, uh, in pro, in a project mm -hmm. tuna jaribu yes. to see if uh, tukipanda arrow roots mm -hmm. using a dam liner. Mm -hmm. You actually, hii shimo tulichimba dam liner <laughs> ni karatasi. Yes. Uh, inatumika, that is kwa fish ponds and everything. Mm -hmm. So in ya ku hold maji. Yes. The purpose of using the dam line hapa mm -hmm. ni ya ku hold ya ku retain ile maji mm -hmm. si drain off uko chini. Yes. So tuna apply the dam line chini. Mm -hmm. Una erase just uh, six inches mm -hmm. from the ground uko kando. Mm -hmm. Alafu una apply soil. Mm -hmm. Soil iko na enough manure. Yes. Around uh, three to four inches. Mm -hmm. Then you come with the uh, nitaziita mieo zinaitago mm -hmm. zama zinaitago waje hizo zandoma mm -hmm. <laughs> okay eh, so kuna measurement ya kupanda mm -hmm. unazipanda mm -hmm. so the purpose of this mainly mm -hmm. ni kupanda ndoma without using a lot of water, water. okay eh, because water is a challenge dry, the way you've been saying water is always a challenge water is a challenge mm -hmm. eh. but i can see there is overcrowding in mm -hmm. one place here mm -hmm. is there any way that one is owner maybe it will lower the quality of production yeah uh -huh. so uh, what we did to the ile space in tulitumia mbeleni hmm. ilikuwa kiasi sana mm -hmm. so ilibidi tungoe zingine so that we can allow the expansion of one mm -hmm. uh, sababu ile ile ndomo unajua ita expand kwanza yes. ikiwa area kama hii mm -hmm. soft soil mm -hmm. alafu wewe una iota mwenyewe unaweza ku regulate amount of water mm -hmm. but inataka maji mingi yes. ukiangalia ai nilimwagia ma, nilimwagilia maji asubuhi mm -hmm. yeah but mm -hmm. the it's in a save on water mm -hmm. because it's the dam line is retaining water mm -hmm. so normally i use like uh, 40 liters a week okay. in this small area mm -hmm. yeah. despite the fact that there is a way of preserving water yeah. you still use water you still use water okay. because uh, there is evaporation taking place mm -hmm. uh, and maybe what is now the period mm -hmm. between now the planting and harvesting how long does it take um for this kind of tubers it takes uh, six months six months yeah then you harvest yeah but what is the recommended now the mm -hmm. spacing when planting uh when you're using uh, kama unatumia hii mtaro mm. that is wacha uko sasa kwa swampy area mm -hmm. hii unaweza tumia uh, nine inches mm -hmm. yeah spacing uh, from one to the other okay uh, okay that's all about that let's continue continue Our today's last episode will come from this store whereby the pumpkins are stored. I think you can also see the size of this, how huge and massive it is. But they are of different colors. But Charles is here. He'll explain to us. Charles. Yes. Ziko na color tofauti? Na ni nini ilitokea? Ama they are from different varieties. So, malengi ukipanda, the moment you plant the seeds, mm -hmm. uh, it affects mm -hmm. either due to pollination, mm -hmm. uh, cross pollination, ya mm -hmm. malenge. Yes. Unapata, kuna malenge ilikuwa na this, uh, maybe the white color, mm -hmm. the yes. dark green color, mm -hmm. and also the green color. Mm -hmm. But unapata, you like maybe planted one variety. Mm -hmm. So, it inakuaga ni kama 
Same to ni cross pollination na take place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have this one, this color. That this one is the white color. Mm-hmm. Then this one is that is green. Green color. Then this one it's a bit green, white green and yeah. white and then this one. Yeah. So by the way, now let's talk about the cost. Mm-hmm. How much is it? Here at the farm mm-hmm. we normally sell uh in terms of cages, mm-hmm. not just depending on the size. Yes. So like right now a cage is going for 100 mm-hmm. 250 shillings. So for the big sizes mm-hmm. it's 150 shillings. Mm-hmm. For the small sizes mm-hmm. below 3 kgs mm-hmm. it's 100 shillings per kg. And where is your market? Uh for the small sizes mm-hmm. local market. Yeah. And for the big sizes mm-hmm. uh we now call up those people maybe the exporters mm-hmm. or uh maybe the people who are making flour mm-hmm. yeah so there's some people that make flour from the yeah from the from pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin wow yeah. very interesting yeah. as a farmer mm-hmm. ni challenge gani apart from maji in unapitia in general wakati una practice the all type of farming okay also market is also a challenge mm-hmm. like when you come to the pumpkin mm-hmm. uh, kuna kuaga na challenge kiasi ya market because mm-hmm. uh, at times mm-hmm. uh unaweza pata watu wengi wamelima pumpkin mm-hmm. so the prices do drop okay the higher the supply the <laughs> lower the, 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 the demand price. yeah okay so the it lowers the price yeah. it lowers the price mm-hmm. so lazima pia upelekane na soko mm-hmm. eh. na sasa ni method gani ambayo mm-hmm. unatumia ku irrigate the whole piece of land because mbangalia ni kubwa mm-hmm. yes so atujaweza kuweka the drip irrigation system mm-hmm. tunatumia to overhead na pipe yes so i just have a pump Mm-hmm. Eh, na maji kila jioni maybe mm-hmm. eh. na sasa ni nini ambayo ilifanya or advantages mm-hmm. of using mixed farming mm-hmm. and disadvantage uh, advantage ya yeah, using mixed farming mm-hmm. is uh, kitu moja ikifail mm-hmm. uh, utapata ingi zote zina fail yes. kuna moja lazima ita, ita pick mm-hmm. that's why ni poa ku, ku intercrop na okay. kujaribu new things because uh-huh. you never know uh-huh. eh, eh, kitu itafika maybe plant uh-huh. itafail lean uh-huh. eh. na so uh, what are disadvantages well uh, i can say there are no disadvantages of mixed farming yeah. because you, you only <laughs> have to choose the right crops uh-huh. za ku intercrop uh-huh. where the intercrop ni mea any any variety uh-huh. any any tree okay eh. na maybe your parting shot uh-huh. As we are reaching the conclusion uh, i don't have much to say mm-hmm. uh, what i can say is uh, farming mm-hmm. iko choice mm-hmm. uh, iko sawa so vijana <laughs> wanaweza invest kwa cha, kwa <laughs> farming eh vijana wanaweza invest kwa farming mm-hmm. hapa kwa farm tuna offer training mm-hmm. uh, fee ni kidogo tu because mm-hmm. pia you have to Uh, at least natoa kitu ndio ujue kitu yes education is not is not always free mm-hmm. to be honest so maybe you can give them your handle mm-hmm. so that they can follow and maybe for those people that want to reach you mm-hmm. how can they reach you so this is kimani's farm mm-hmm. on uh, instagram at kimani's farm or my charles kimani mm-hmm. but kimani's farm is the page mm-hmm. uh, on twitter mm-hmm. the same mm-hmm. kimani's farm and um, Also you can have our number which mm-hmm. is uh, 0714 Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mr. Kimani, mm-hmm. I'm so much delighted that you had us today mm-hmm. and you had an interview with us. Yeah. According to Belted Brech, he said that resources should be given to those people who will utilize it. Uh, look here. Kimani is a gem who uses his resources that he have been given. This has been the Agriculture Show. I've been your host, Edwin Wanyama. Till next time, right here.